I trying to find a good value on ghee. We wanted to get into that whole clarified butter thing as an alternative to cooking with oils. And we discovered ghee because it can cook at up to like 450 degrees without like burning and smoke. But that's its smoke point is over 400. So we picked some up on Amazon. I was very excited to find this because it's a, a large vat of ghee at a really good price. And I, I guess I should have looked a little more into it. I haven't opened it yet but I got on Amazon right before I was about to, to uh, make this video and I realized that there's some reviews on there that are a little sketchy although it does have 843 ratings with four and a half stars uh, it's I'm a little I'm a little nervous about it so let's get into that today first of all hi hi to all the new dads out there this is dad reviews this is where I give you my unedited hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like use and have and used to cook with. So if you're interested in that, watch to the end of the video to see what we got in the box here. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna get my knife here and knife this thing open. The box got kind of crushed whenever it got sent in the mail right there. That's just an idea for how heavy this thing is. Also, I noticed I got this from Amazon and it looks like uh, they've, they're selling some advertising on their boxes these days. <laughs> thought that was kind of interesting all right so we have the okay it's packaged nicely you got the little air pockets in there got the er got the er in there and then this is the ghee right here first thing that i'm so the reason why we had to buy this online is because we wanted to get a big vat of it like this and we saw some at, at uh costco a long time ago so the kirkland signature one and i was like oh you know the kirkland signature products seem to be pretty legit let's uh let's go get that we went to costco it wasn't there anymore they don't sell it anymore apparently and uh I, the first thing that i'm noticing about this is how liquidy it is i don't know if y'all can really see that in there it's kind of hard to see because i can shade it's like a water consistency almost it does say keto friendly on there so this is a clarified butter or a ghee for a uh, keto source of vitamins a d e k great for cooking and baking a high smoke point add to the morning coffee if you make like a bulletproof coffee now one thing on the questions and reviews on amazon that i took a look at was they were that i was reading they were saying that they sent them a way beyond expired vat of ghee here and so that made me think okay that's something that i definitely need to check before we get into this thing and i was just looking through here it, the review was like from 2018 i want to say and the expiration date on the ghee was 2016. so there's a whole two year difference there i honestly don't know how long ghee is supposed to be good for um the expiration date on this is june 4th of 2021 so we're at march right now april may june so we have three months to use 3.5 pounds of ghee um if we keep this another person by the way this is a plastic bottle on here somebody was asking in the questions on amazon whether this was a plastic or a glass bottle this is definitely a plastic bottle i can even pinch it like that um Here's all the nutritional information. If you guys need to look up any of that, y'all can pause the video and check that out right there. Um, and this is another thing that a lot of people had questions about is, is this does this come from grass-fed animals? Um, it says it's made in Canada. And, it, oh, this is interesting. This says keep cool on it, and it just came in a regular old box. So I'm not too sure about that either. That's That's a little iffy there. Um, but this came from, this is made in Canada, which I'm kind of confused by because they have, this looks like Arabic characters right here. I'm assuming that says clarified butter. If any of you guys speak Arabic, y'all can let me know what this says right here. But uh, I'm curious because it's made in Canada and the company that it comes from is called Punjab Milk Foods Incorporated. So I don't know if it's imported, but it says made in Canada. So that, that's, um, I'm, I'm just wondering about that but the reason why i bring up the grass-fed cows is because you know canada's kind of cold <laughs> so whenever cows need to be warm outside 
they uh they that when it, during the cold weather they're probably not going to be outside i wouldn't think i don't know go into a barn maybe and if they're in a barn there's probably not grass on the ground and they're probably going to be hay and all that type of stuff but it's probably also going to be i would think more grain fed being that grass from my experience down here in Louisiana, doesn't really grow in the cold. So can they be grass-fed like 100% all the time? I'm going to guess that the answer to that is no. Now, somebody also mentioned in a review that Kerrygold butter, which is a grass-fed butter uh, that's made that you can buy in stores, it is also, or not also, it comes from Ireland. And uh, I know Ireland's way up north, so it has to have some cold temperatures as well. So I don't think that grass and whatnot's gonna be growing up in Ireland where these cows you're wanting to get grass-fed stuff from, right? So that's uh, the research that I have here. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Is it, it's not, it's not sealed like there wasn't maybe there's like one of those topper things let's open this let's see what we got i'm, I'm kind of i'm a little scared after reading those reviews you have to oh okay okay cool all right so it does have a little sealy bobber on there a little drum pad if you will um let's see let's open this up you guys can't see that can you let me hold this up oh that didn't work come on there we go oh no that didn't work come on might need to pierce it with the knife. I'm getting the, the edge of it. I can't get the rest of it. Here, let me do like this. All right, there we go. Now we got it. Oh, this is gonna be a mess. Do I have a rag? I don't know if I have a rag. This is very, very uh, liquidy. I would expect ghee to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more uh, viscous, like uh, thicker, but it's not. It smells like butter. Again, another person in the reviews were saying that it had a very weird smell to it. It doesn't smell that weird to me. Um, granted, I've never used ghee before. If I did, it was a long time ago, so I really don't know exactly what the consistency of it is supposed to be. So I might have to go pick up another thing of ghee so that we can kind of check it. Like go to the store and actually buy something right off the shelf. Um, also, I don't know how, how long ghee is, uh, the expiration, how long is that supposed to be? So that's another thing that we need to do a little bit more investigating of. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna dip my finger in here. I should, I should dip my knife in there and we're gonna take just a little taste. I mean, it tastes all right to me. I don't know, I'm gonna have to get back to you guys on this. I'm gonna let my wife cook with it. We'll check the smoke point and all that, and I'll get back to you guys and let y'all know uh, what we find about that. But if you guys want to see that follow-up video, I'm gonna put it right there on the screen, uh, unless the video's not done yet. If the video's not done, you're just gonna see whatever YouTube thinks is the best video for you. So go and click that video. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank you, dads, for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated, and dad out.